Which group has a specific responsibility to reduce danger to pedestrians? A. Drivers of large goods vehicles. B. Drivers of horse-drawn vehicles. C. Cyclists and horse riders. D. Drivers of cars and taxis. Answer. B. Drivers of horse-drawn vehicles and C. Cyclists and horse riders. When do pedestrians have priority? A. Only at light-controlled crossings when they have a green signal. B. On a parallel crossing and on zebra crossings. C. Only when there's a traffic jam. D. Only during specific hours of the day. Answer. B. On a parallel crossing and on zebra crossings. If there is a cycle lane or cycle track and if you are turning right or left into the junction. A. You should wait for the cyclist to pass. B. You should slow down and proceed with caution. C. You can turn immediately without checking for cyclists. D. Cyclists should always give way to you. Answer. A. You should wait for the cyclist to pass. Which countries does the mentioned highway code apply to? A. England and Scotland only. B. England, Scotland, and Ireland. C. England, Scotland, and Wales. D. Wales and Ireland only. Answer. C. England, Scotland, and Wales. After a crash, what are the primary dangers to be aware of? A. Panic and confusion. B. Theft and looting. C. Further collisions and fire. D. Exposure to elements. Answer. C. Further collisions and fire. How should you attempt to get a response from someone who might be unconscious? A. Ask questions and gently shake their shoulders. B. Pour water on them. C. Snap your fingers near their ears. D. All of the above. Answer. A. Ask questions and gently shake their shoulders. Learning first aid is beneficial because A. It provides knowledge on general health. B. It can help you get a medical job. C. It can potentially save a life. D. It is a mandatory requirement for driving. Answer. C. It can potentially save a life. According to the safety code, when is the most dangerous time to drive for new drivers? A. Between 6 a.m. and midday. B. During the afternoon. C. Between midnight and 6 a.m. D. During rush hour. Answer. C. Between midnight and 6 a.m. What should new drivers do if passengers are distracting them or encouraging risky behavior? A. Do not drive under this condition. B. Tell them that they need to concentrate on the road. C. Use cruise control to manage speed distractions. D. Let the passengers drive instead. Answer. B. Tell them that they need to concentrate on the road. Why is it important to read the warning label on medicines before driving? A. To ensure you're taking the prescribed dose. B. Some medicines can affect the ability to drive safely. C. To check if it pairs well with other supplements. D. To check all side effects regardless of driving. Answer. B. Some medicines can affect the ability to drive safely. What is the advice regarding speed, especially on bends? A. Keep your speed down. B. Use cruise control to manage speed distractions. C. Maintain a consistent speed. D. All of the above. Answer. A. Keep your speed down. What is the recommended action if a tire bursts while you are driving? A. Grip the steering wheel firmly. B. Brake immediately. C. Let the vehicle roll to a stop at the side of the road. D. Continue driving to the nearest workshop. 
Answer. A. Grip the steering wheel firmly and C. Let the vehicle roll to a stop at the side of the road. When should you check tire pressures? A. Monthly, before any long journey. B. Only when the tires look underinflated. C. Weekly, and before your journey when the tires are cold. D. Daily, irrespective of the tire temperature. Answer. C. Weekly, and before your journey when the tires are cold. If your vehicle pulls to one side when braking, it may indicate. A. The air conditioner is affecting the vehicle's balance. B. There's a brake fault or incorrectly inflated tires. C. The alignment of the seats has shifted. D. The front right tire goes flat. Answer. B. There's a brake fault or incorrectly inflated tires. If you notice an unusual smell in your vehicle, such as burning rubber or petrol, what should you do? A. Ignore it as it's probably temporary. B. Add more coolant to the engine. C. Open the windows and check nearby. D. Investigate immediately as it may risk a fire. Answer. D. Investigate immediately as it may risk a fire. Why should you avoid using a mobile phone on the forecourt of petrol stations? A. Because you might get a weak signal. B. To avoid distracting other drivers. C. Because they are a major fire risk and could cause an explosion. D. It is a myth. There is no harm in using it. Answer. C. Because they are a major fire risk and could cause an explosion. Which of the following must not be kept clean and clear? A. Lights and indicators. B. Reflectors and number plates. C. Windscreens and windows. D. Wipers and washers. Answer. D. Wipers and washers. Must be properly adjusted to prevent dazzling other road users. A. Lights and indicators. B. Reflectors and number plates. C. Windscreens and windows. D. Wipers and washers. Answer. A. Lights and indicators. What should a driver do if the warning lights on the vehicle instrument panel do not go out after starting the engine? A. Continue driving and monitor the situation. B. Stop and investigate the problem. C. Restart the engine more than twice. D. Slow down and turn on hazard lights. Answer. B. Stop and investigate the problem. What is the minimum tread depth required for cars, light vans, and light trailers? A. 1 mm. B. 1.6 mm. C. 2.5 mm. D. 3 mm. Answer. B. 1.6 mm. Tires over 10 years old must not be used on the rear axles of passenger vehicles with how many seats, unless equipped with twin wheels. A. There is no such law. B. It is applicable to all passenger vehicles regardless of seat capacity. C. 9 to 16 passenger seats. D. Insufficient data. Answer. C. 9 to 16 passenger seats. If a driver refuses to give a specimen or has a BAC over two and a half times the legal limit, what must they do before getting their license back? A. Attend a mandatory driving class. B. Pay a hefty fine. C. Satisfy the DVLA's medical branch regarding their alcohol consumption habits. D. Take a written driving test. Answer. C. Satisfy the DVLA's medical branch regarding their alcohol consumption habits. What is the maximum penalty for causing death by dangerous driving? A. Two years imprisonment. B. Unlimited fine. C. Five years imprisonment. D. Life imprisonment and unlimited fine. Answer. D. 
life imprisonment and unlimited fine. Which of the following is the minimum cover required by law? A. Comprehensive insurance. B. Third party, fire and theft insurance. C. Third party insurance. D. Personal injury insurance. Answer. C. Third party insurance. If involved in a road traffic incident that isn't your fault, what could potentially happen with insurance companies? A. You will always be reimbursed for damages. B. You will never be held liable. C. You may still be held liable. D. Your insurance policy will automatically be upgraded. Answer. C. You may still be held liable. Starting from the 20th of May, 2018, which vehicles will be exempt from the MOT test? A. Vehicles that are 10 years old. B. Motorcycles and other light passenger vehicles. C. Cars, vans, motorcycles and other light passenger vehicles over 40 years old. D. All vehicles that have passed the test once. Answer. C. Cars. Vans, motorcycles and other light passenger vehicles over 40 years old. Which of the following is not an indication of a tram lane? A. White lines. B. Yellow dots. C. Red triangles. D. Different type of road surface. Answer. C. Red triangles. If there's no alternative route signed and a tram has stopped to pick up passengers without a platform, you should A. Overtake the tram cautiously. B. Pass by the left-hand curb if there's enough space. C. Slow down and maneuver your vehicle. D. Wait until the tram moves off. Answer. D. Wait until the tram moves off. If you approach a railway crossing with no lights, what should you do before crossing? A. Wait for a signal from the train driver. B. Look both ways, listen, and ensure it's safe before proceeding. C. Slow down, look both ways, and then proceed. D. Come to a complete stop, then proceed with caution. Answer. B. Look both ways, listen and ensure it's safe before proceeding. When is a driver required to use the railway telephone at a crossing? A. Only when the barrier is down. B. When instructed by a sign to obtain permission to cross. C. Only in case of emergencies. D. After every crossing, regardless of instructions. Answer. B. When instructed by a sign to obtain permission to cross. How should you approach a level crossing? A. Speed up to cross before a train arrives. B. Drive onto the crossing as long as there is room on the opposite side. C. Approach and cross with care. D. Before crossing ensuring the road is clear on the other side. Answer. C. And. D. Approach and cross with care, ensuring the road is clear on the other side. In a contraflow system, why should you slow down and increase the distance to the vehicle in front at the start and finish of the system? A. Because the lanes are wider than usual. B. To allow for a smooth transition between different road conditions. C. Because changes in the camber of the road may affect vehicle stability. D to ensure you stay within the designated lane markings. Answer, C, because changes in the camber of the road may affect vehicle stability.